The Celtic Cable is a 16 row pattern. It is available as a free download on our website. One of the things I really like about the Celtic Cable is the fact that it follows a regular pattern of under, over, under, over, over, under, over, under, and it never varies. With the abbreviations for cabling, C for a cable, and then the number 334444, four, 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 three tells you that there are three stitches involved, and the four, that there are four stitches involved. That'll be cable three, and the cable will go to the left, R for right, and sometimes they tell you F for front or B for back. There are written instructions, plus there's a chart. I like to use a chart. As you can see, I've coloured in the amount I've done. So on this one, I have five times the pattern, and I have completed two. When you have a chart like this, you can see which strand goes over and which goes under. If you follow this one, this one hit left one is coming over that one, under that one, over, under. When the cable is going on the outer here, two stitches are going over the top of one. It goes out more slowly, but these ones in the middle are always two stitches over two stitches. With this piece of knitting, I have three stitches on the edge, which is a garter stitch border. Then there are two stitches of reverse stocking stitch and two stitches of reverse stocking stitch. These are not part of the pattern. The Celtic pattern starts there. It's over 24 stitches. Row one. After the purl stitches for the edge, we have a cable involving four stitches. Now it's two on the cable needle to the back, knit the two from the front, then knit the two from the cable needle at the back. So two stitches go over two stitches and they're going right. Then we purl some more and it's the same, exactly the same. It's a cable for back, which is slip two stitches onto the cable needle at the back, knit two, then knit two from the cable needle. Here we do it again. Two stitches to the back on the cable needle, knit the two from the left hand needle, knit the two from the cable needle. Four purls and repeat. I have finished three for my edge and two for the background reverse stocking stitch. Purl two, cable four back. So there's going to be four stitches and I'm going to take, put, slip two onto your cable needle, put it at the back, knit two, knit two from the cable needle. This is not a quick pattern. Purl four. So even though this row has three lots of cabling in it, it's all the same. Put two to the back, knit two, knit two from the cable needle, and finish the pattern with two purls. That's the 24 stitches. Now I said I liked this pattern, and one of the things I like about it is is the return row, the wrong side row, is just all, knit all the knit stitches and purl all the purl stitches. Now a knit stitch is one that looks like a knit stitch when you're looking at it. So even though that was done on the other side as a purl, it's now called a knit stitch. So knit, knit, now here's four purls. One, two, three, four, and purls.
knit two. That's the end of the 24 stitches. The cables for row three. First one, C3R. Three stitches involved. There they are, and they move. You take two over one to go to the right. Then we get C4L, cable four left, and cable four right, and we do it twice. So what's happening is those two stitches are going left, these two are coming right, and they meet up there in the middle. Then we do that again. Those two go left, these two go right to meet up in the middle. Then we do the two over one to go to the left. We're up to taking those two stitches over that one to go to the right. So slip that one onto the cable needle, put it at the back, knit these two and this one will be a purl stitch because it's part of the background, part of the reverse stocking stitch background. Now these two, one, two, are going to go to the left over the top of those two. So they'll be in front and these are also part of the reverse stocking stitch. So they're the pearl stitches. These are part of the nice cable. So they're knit stitches. That wasn't very neat. There it is. Now, these two are coming over the top to the right. These two are the background stitches. They go to the back. These next two stay at the front to go left. Our last cable is C3L. So it involves three stitches, those two, and the next one, and the cable is going to the left. And then finish off the row. Row five. The cable here, the two stitches go one stitch to the right and we're right at the edge of the extreme right of the cable. Then we have some purl stitches. Then this is where the cables met in row three. Now in row five they cross over to the left. Some more purl stitches, cross them over to the left some more purl stitches and take the last part of the cable two stitches over one to get to the extreme left of the cable. We're going to take those two stitches over one to the right. Those two are going to go over the top of those two. Remember here we came under that one, so this is over that one.
and the last one two going over the top of one and it gets to the extreme left of the cable so with it you have a few rows of just knitting it straight up with no crisscrossing and that's all the cables for row 5 row 7 two knits because this is just going straight up and two purls now two over two to the right two over two to the left then repeat it two over two to the right two over two to the left row nine these ones go straight up no crossing over here some purl stitches only one lot of cabling in this row and it's to take two over two to the right purl stitches knit purl knit only one cabling nice and easy 11 these two are still going straight up not moving but these are on the move again two over two to the left this one two over two to the right and they meet up like we did down here exactly the same and the same here two over two to the left two over two to the right and they meet up this one stays straight up row 13 this outside cable is on the move again two stitches go over only one to the left two to the right two to the left purl stitches and then we repeat that one repeat that one and this one's on the move again two stitches go over only one and they go to the right row 15 these two go over one to the left these two to the right and they meet up two over two to the left to meet up with the two over the two to the right to meet up here two over two to the left two over one and they meet up then we're back with the cables joining here and you're back to row one here is where I use the Celtic cable in block six in the blanket called the Epping Textured Sampler Knee Rug. I use the Celtic cable right down the middle of this rug. It's flanked by other cables. The rug was knitted in panels. This narrow panel is of climbing leaves. The side panels are other cables. Picasso had a blue period. I had a cable period. Remember, the free pattern is available to download from our website. Thank you for watching and happy knitting. Here are the steps to download Daphne's patterns and to view the videos on her YouTube channel. Send an email to knitwithdaphne at gmail.com and include the subject free download. There is no need for any content in the email. You will receive an automatic email reply that includes two links. One is a link to Daphne's YouTube channel. The other is a link to the downloadable patterns. When you click the link, the Knit with Daphne folder with all the downloadable patterns will open. Double click on any line to open and download the pattern. Double click on stitch patterns to open the folder with the individual knitting stitch pattern. Enjoy Daphne's designs and happy knitting!